Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm here to bring another weekly makeup basket. So if you have seen some of my other weekly makeup baskets, I try to do these every two weeks. Eventually I'll get to uh, every week. Um, and today is July 1st, so happy July 1st. I probably won't post this until like the 3rd or the 4th, so I'll go ahead and count that as when I start using these products and I'll just kind of concentrate on my MAC products until then. I plan on concentrating on these items till about like July 14th. I think that will be a good kind of midpoint and then I'll do another video. I think I totally forgot to put a nail polish in my last basket but I have just one polish because I just think this is such a fun polish. It's actually the one that I'm wearing right now and it's the Circus Ringmaster and is that just the color is Ringmaster? Maybe so. So the Circus by Andrea's Choice and it's in the color Ringmaster and it's this gorgeous hot pink. I've got it on my toenails and my fingernails. I think this is day three of me having it on my nails and it's doing really well and I just, it makes me really happy so I want to wear it for the next couple weeks. And then for my base coat I'm testing out this. This is the Essie All-in-One so I guess actually you can use this as a top coat too and I don't know what the third one is. Maybe just clear coat? I don't know what the third option would be. So this it says it's a three-way glaze and I'm going to test it out, see how I like it because uh, all of my stinking, I'm so upset, all of my top coats are totally dry. I used my Sephora one and I put a ton of nail polish thinner in it and it's thinned out a little bit. I'm going to try putting it in the fridge or was it the freezer? One of my uh, viewers had mentioned that. They're all like dried and goopy and a mess so I'm really sad that all of my nail polishes are going bad, all of my top coats at least. So that was a little tangent but getting, getting to the makeup, the products that I have, I want to try this. This is the Clarins um, Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch, I guess it's a primer and I've used it a couple times already. It's a very thick uh, but very velvety on the skin, definitely really helps with kind of concealing any kind of big pores, really helps to kind of minimize those. And so far, the first couple times I've used it, I liked it. So I want to concentrate, kind of get a really good review on that. I have an eye brightener just because summer, you want just a bright face, nice bronzy, bright eyes, I don't know. And so I have the Coastal Sense Bright Eyes. This is in the color Ivory. This can be a really light concealer, but it is mostly for just a really nice brightener. So you put your heavy duty concealer on and then you put this on um, over top and it just gives a nice glowy just look to your eyes. So bringing this back into my mix and then I'm almost done with my Rimmel BB cream and so I decided that my next one is going to be the Revlon Nearly Naked. This is a beautiful foundation, very light. My color is in the color Ivory and it does a really light finish, light to medium coverage. It's not going to be one of your heavy duty you know, foundations that going to cover up everything. And even though it's not like that, it does give just a fresh look to the skin and your skin just looks really nice, not cakey. I think that uh, especially when it's getting hotter and you're just kind of sweating more, having a lighter foundation just seems, you know, better just because you don't feel like your your face is like just caked in makeup and it's just not a cute look when you're sweating and your makeup's dripping off of you. So I want to bring this back into my routine. I also put this in my basket of the e.l.f. Eye Refresh. I think I've had this in one of my other ones as well. It's just a really great one and I kind of forget about it if it's not in like these baskets so I can just notice that it's there all the time. This is just one of those beautiful things that helps kind of cool your under eye, great for the morning or, you know, the afternoon just to kind of boost your under eyes. Um, is that all for the face products? Oh, so for bronzer, I'm going to use my Lorac Pro Palette. This I still am kind of playing around with. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll do like a review tutorial down the line. But I like to use my products for a while before I do those videos just because I want to make sure you guys have a really good review on them. So I've been using this the last, um, you know, couple days since I got it. 
and unfortunately the deep contour I think is gonna be mostly just like an eyeshadow just because I am so fair and it is very pigmented um, but I can get the medium contour like just as a contour and really blend it out and it seems to be okay not so much for all over the face yet unless I find a technique that I can do it and then the light contour is basically the color that I can use all over my face and then really loving the yellow highlight underneath my eyes and then the beige highlight I tried to kind of carve um, kind of the contour out a little bit the shimmering highlight is very pigmented so you have to be very light-handed with that so far is what I've kind of noticed and I want to play around with it more so I have more information for you guys for blush I picked out three of them I picked out this beautiful hot pink just to go with a lipstick that you'll see um, again in this video I had it in my last weekly makeup basket too just a beautiful baby pink but it's pretty bright and just a glowing color for the summer I always love hot pinks in the summer and then I have a neutral one this is the NYX one oh, I didn't even mention this is the Tarte fantastic Amazonian clay this is the NYX dusty rose for those days that I just kind of want to have a neutral blush and then this is my New York color blushable cream stick in so it's from NYC what is this it's so tiny holy smoke oh big apple blush so these I just think are awesome I love that they're in stick form and you just kind of put it where you want it and blend it out again elf small stipple that's your main man for any kind of cream blush and so I want to bring this in this is a nice just kind of neutral color as well for eyeshadows in addition to my pan that palette and all of my Mac eyeshadows that are in my project 10 pan I am bringing out the Lorac unzip this is one of my favorite all-time palettes I just think it's gorgeous and I haven't given it enough love this year so far. It has just a gorgeous array of rose golds and just really beautiful metallics. Got a lot of neutrals in there. I always create just beautiful looks every time I wear these shadows and it's just because the shadows are just so gorgeous. And I love that there's some, you know, kind of cranberry colors in there, which you guys know I love. And so I'm excited to have this back in my life for the next couple weeks to use solid. I picked out two blue eyeliners because of the 4th of July holiday. I have the Kat Von D one. This is in Revenge. And so pretty. There it is. There. And then I have the Urban Decay Glide On one in Deviant. This is a little bit lighter of a blue. That one's right there. So I'm going to have these as either all over the lid and blend it out, put one of my shadows on top from my um, Urban Decay palette or underneath the lash line. I think that it's just kind of fun to play around with color, especially around holidays. And for a liquid eyeliner, I just popped out this Ulta Provision liquid eyeliner in carbon black. I had it in kind of my back stock because I'm out of a black eyeliner and there is that so far so good it seems to be pigmented has a nice just kind of felt tip it's very cute and petite four lip products one is a repeat this is the it cosmetics um, je ne sais quoi and it's one of those ones that is just clear and then you put it on your lips and it just gives you a gorgeous flush of pink whatever you know is with your body chemistry or heat or whatever however it does it I don't know and I used it and I loved it and I want to bring it back and I thought it would be pretty with like the nail polish and then the pretty blush I thought that would be a cool mixture I have just a neutral everyday lip gloss if you guys are like me when you have a product that you just totally love or a brand that you totally love you like want to like hoard it and not use it and that's how I am about my buxom lip glosses I just love them so much and I have so many of them and then I don't use them because I don't want to use them up I know crazy so this is in the color amber and it's just a great neutral color so I thought this would be nice just to kind of have whatever look I have it's gonna go well with and it's cooling and, and nice and tingly and mint and so it's great for the summer because it definitely does cool your lips and then I have a red lip combo so the first one is this brick lip pencil by Mac um, my sister-in-law had two of them so she gave me one so there is that one and I could just wear this by itself have this lip gloss over top and that would be really beautiful or if I want to combine it I have this bite lipstick in pomegranate 
here it is. It's in one. It was one of those four packs for the holidays. And this one is gorgeous as well. So the brick one from MAC is a little bit more blue toned and then this one um, by Bite Beauty is a little bit more like yellow orange toned. So be kind of a nice mixture or whatever I decide that day that I'm in the mood for. So those are all of the products that I want to use in the next couple weeks in addition to all of my Project Pan Challenge uh, products. So I hope you guys have a fantastic and safe 4th of July, have tons of fun, go watch the fireworks, have a great barbecue with friends and family and loved ones, and just enjoy yourselves and be safe, and I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye!